close range meta in season six is actually pretty balanced this season, even though we have a one tap shotgun. But in this video, I'll be going over the top five close range. And of course, to start off, we have the one tap shotgun. Although this thing is not as broken as it sounds, although it is one shot, it only has one bullet to shoot out and it has limited range. If you miss your shot, you're pretty much dead. So it's, it's kind of balanced. But if you watch these clips, we'll get to the build here in just a second. Everyone's going to find out about it. Oh, I just uh, got two knocks in one shot. They were in the old war zone. So they're actually... So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with the tank can help you feel alive find So for the build, we're going with the dual trigger action That makes it one shot Then we're going with the GW Max 99 muzzle The Muzzatech 812 barrel the Slodger, Ulo 66 Laser, and the High Stock Mod. Tuning's on screen, let's get into the next gun. Next up, we have the ISO 9mm. This one has really good TTK up close, up to about 8 meters, then the drops off, but it has really good aim down sight, sprint to fire, movement, and stuff. But if you watch these clips, we'll get to the build here in just a second. Why are you using? Oh, it's that goofy RPG kid. Mm, 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 mm. So for the build, we're going with the 50 round mag, the 9mm hollow point ammunition, the X10 black knight muzzle, the 9 inch PTX trainer barrel, and the AccuShot 5 milliwatt laser. Tunings are on screen, let's get into the third gun. Third, we have the Bass P. This one caught a significant buff in the season 6 update, and it has a really good damage overall, really good mobility, recoil. This one's just a really good sniper as important. Overall, a great gun. So if you watch these clips, we'll get to the build here in just a second. So for the builder, we're going with the 50 round drum, the 9mm hollow point ammunition, the 12 inch Bruin SC36 barrel, the VLK LZR 7 milliwatt laser, and the Bruin flash grip. Tunings are on screen, let's get into the fourth gun. For our second to last gun, we have the PDSW 528, aka the P90. This one is also really good sniper support, has really good range, mobility, accuracy, damage, etc. This thing is really good overall, and if you watch these clips, we'll get to the build here in just a moment. Uh, knock one, there's still one more. Killed both. Knocked. Broke. Killed. Yep. Knocked. Killed. Dead. Dude, can my gun reload? 
So for the builder, we're going with the FDAC Castle Comp Muzzle, the VLK 7 milliwatt laser, the Chrono Mini Pro Optic, a Guard Duty Stock, and the Strip 40P Grip. Tuning's on screen, let's get into the last gun. Last but not least is the ISO 45. This one overall is a pretty decent gun as well. Didn't get any changes in the Season 6 update, but has good damage, good mobility, good accuracy. But if you watch these clips, we'll get to the build here in just a moment. Wow, your RPG did nothing. Guess your plan didn't work, bro. So for the ISO 45 build, we're going with the 45 round drum, the .45 hollow point ammunition, the Spiral V3-5 flash hider muzzle, the Demo Fay tack stock, and the XP shear grip. Tuning's on screen, and I really hope that you enjoyed today's gameplay and found it helpful. And if you did, don't forget to drop like and subscribe. It would really help me out a ton, and I really appreciate that. But I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya! Yeah.